Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Uh, hit the like button and please subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm starting off today with something a little bit unusual. <laughs> Several privacy advocates and workers organizations implore, implored the U.S. antitrust officials to step up in and block Amazon's deal Amazon's deal um, to block the purchase of iRobot Corporation. The open letter was sent to the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, and that the group stated their objections on the grounds that the deal will give the airline retailer far too much control of the market for smart home systems. Oh my goodness iRobot is the manufacturer of the robot vacuum called Rumba. Or is it Roomba? I guess it's Roomba. The sig signatories believe that Amazon will then access more private consumer data, increase the strength of its anti-competitive advantages. The letter pulls no punches. It asserts that Amazon should not be allowed to absorb a comp competing smart home device business that will give the retailer access to even more incredibly detailed consumer data. Rather than through organic growth, the group believe that Amazon is attempting to weaken competition through a question. Amazon already owns Alex. Alexa and Ring and the $1.7 billion deal for iRobot announced in August would give it a further foothold into controlling smart home devices. Have you bought one of those Roombas? I thought about it, but I ordered a cheaper one and it was worthless. So it got sent right back. Yeah, but a lot of people use them Roombas and they seem to work perfectly and now they've come up with where the Roomba when it gets low on on uh, energy or battery <laughs> whatever you want to call it it will take itself right back to the charging place set itself in it recharge it and then get on with finishing the job are we living in the space age we're getting close the open letter noted that already a third of the u.s homes have at least one amazon device yes uh, it told the regu regulatory commission that there is no more private space than the home. But now Amazon stands to gain even more access to details not available through any other means. The federal government has taken notice of some of the possibility privacy invasions through Amazon technology. Senator Ed Markey, DMA, Democrat, recently asked the company to change its ring technology so that the doorbells will not record audio by default. Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure about that one. But I know you can get doorbells now where you can see who's ringing your doorbell. Then your decision is whether do I want to open it or I don't. I wished I had one. Haha. <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, the FTC has separate antitrust investigation of Amazon in the works concerning the sign-up and cancellation procedures for Amazon Prime. It is also reviewing the deal for iRobot, and the review reportedly covers whether the purchase will illegally increase Amazon's market share. Free enterprise is the bedrock of the U.S. economy system, but it is important for those who are able to closely monitor how big tech companies glean information from consumers. That responsibility is doubly important when that data is harvested from private homes. Okay. Well, I guess... They'll settle that one. <laughs> That's a little bit different than what I usually do. Just an eye robot, <laughs> you know. Oh, well, kind of fun. I enjoyed that one. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. My goodness. Oh, there's a lot going on here, and I don't know where to go. My mail's not come yet, so I don't have my printer ink. So I'm just reading from what I can gather here. Um... 
and I can't understand this one. New Orleans mayor says coach seating, coach seating, not safe for black women. That that's terrible. I mean, I can't I can't understand it. I get an ad pop up all the time. New Orleans Democrat Mayor Latoya Cantrell responded to a question Thursday by saying she will not reimburse the city for flying first class to France and Switzerland because coach seating is not safe for a black woman. Cantrell also said she has a child and that precludes her from flying coach. Well, I guess that would be scary, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. I guess so. All right, let's see if I can do this. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing this or not, but it's out to the public. But if I get in trouble, I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> I'm gonna get her to see what I can figure out she's saying. This is a New Orleans mayor. Mayor Latoya Cantrell needs to reimburse the city for her first class travel upgrades may come down to who she works for. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Kate Moore. And I'm Cherie Skipson. The city travel policy is that city employees must buy the lowest airfare available or pay the difference if they elect to travel in other sections. And Paul Murphy reports, the legal question now is, does the policy apply to elected officials, such as the mayor? A defiant New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell is refusing to pay the city roughly $29,000 she charged this year to upgrade her city air travel to business in first class. All expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed to the city of New Orleans. One thing is clear, I do my job and I will continue to do it with distinction, with dignity and integrity every step of the way. And so that's what I'll have to say on that. The city. Okay. So they were getting on to her for spending that much money on traveling? What about Biden? <laughs> Look how he travels. You know? My goodness. Some of this stuff, I tell you, I just don't know about. No, I don't. Well, I'm going to see what else I can get into here. But. At a Thursday news conference, Cantrell was asked if she will reimburse the city for $30,000 spent to fly with luxury upgrades. She snapped back that her travel choices were concern, concerning safety rather than luxury. Then she said that as a mother, she's going to protect herself by any reasonable means. Anyone with an issue with that Cantrell added, doesn't understand the world black women walk in. Mm, well, I know. But this racist stuff has got to stop. I mean, there's no sense in it just because the color of a skin. Uh, that doesn't matter. What's inside is what matters. We have red blood. We all have the same organs. You know, females have the same organs, men have the same organs, for God's sakes. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It depends on how you act in public. It depends how you respect others. It depends on how you love others. It depends how you help others. Come on now. This racist crap is just, is sickening. There's no excuse for it. There's good and bad in every color that walks this earth. You know, there's bad in white, there's bad in black, there's bad in red, there's bad in yellow. There's criminals all over the place. Don't crucify the whole race because of the criminals that are involved in that race. I'd like to think that the good people outweigh the criminals in any race. You know, it's just, it drives me crazy. It really does. Well, anyway, in July, going back now to Cantrell, flew from Washington to Switzerland on a $10,000 ticket that included her own flatbed seat. Then just a month later, she spent $18,000 on airfare to a Mediterranean city on the southern coast of France for the signing of a partnership agreement that was largely symbolic. 
Wow. Boy, I wished I had that money. And I don't fly. I'm scared to death of heights. <laughs> I can't even get my top cupboard. Yeah, I got to hang on. I get. I have a step stool. You know, I used to be 5'2". <laughs> my last uh, physical of last year, when I went to my doctor, I am down to 4'9". Yeah, I'm shrinking fast. 79 years old. And I have shrunk, what, four inches, five inches? Wow. If I live to be 85, how short will I be? <laughs> Jesus, God. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, well, you got to laugh, you know. You got to laugh. Well, I don't know. Cantrell also defended an extra expense to city taxpayers by doing business for the municipality municipally or whatever m-u-n-i-c-i-p-a-l-i-t-y politity municipality <laughs> whatever the chief administration officer of new orleans said the city is still examining if the mayor must reimburse ooh, almost thirty thousand dollars in upgrades and she said no catrell retorted that all expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed, reimbursed to the city of New Orleans. Mm. My, don't people take advantage of their their position? These high ups, sure they do. Why shouldn't they? You know, they're guaranteed this. They're guaranteed that. If it's there, they're going to grab it. But the heck with the little people like us. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll probably be back a little bit later. God bless. Stay safe. Take care. Bye. See you later.